What's good? This is Kareem from DJBooth.net, and I'm here in the lab to give you guys a really quick rundown video review of the new Pioneer DJM900 Nexus 2 4 channel professional DJ mixer. So, what this is is actually the third iteration of the original Pioneer DJM Nexus, and then they came out with the Pioneer DJM900 SRT. The Nexus, of course, was compatible with Tractor, then the SRT was compatible with Serato, then they dropped the SRT and they made the Nexus compatible with both Tractor and Serato, depending on whether or not you wanted to purchase that additional Serato Club Kit. That was a really cool feature, really good flagship, top notch, four channel DJ controller or DJ mixer that you found in. DJ booths all over the world and all of the biggest clubs and even some nightclubs, bars and stadiums and wherever else have you. It was the standard piece of DJ mixer kit. So now today we have the new Pioneer DJM Nexus 2 and it promises and to improve on many of the original features that were inherent on the original 900 Nexus and it also improves upon them. It gives you a lot of new improvements such as dual USB ports. You have that new USB port which you can use to run your iPad pad effects apps, you have new beat effects, new sound color effects properties and parameters that you can adjust, and you also have new key LED indicators all over the mixer, improved crossfader, you have improved sound quality, and you still have all of your input and output options that you've always had in the original 900. So let's just take a deeper dive, a closer look at the 900 Nexus 2 and see exactly what comes inside. Okay, so first up, we're going to take a look at everything on the back rear panel. You have your on-off toggle switch here. You also have your AC power input. Then you have your send and return. These are quarter-inch TRS style jacks. You have a nice, strong, sturdy ground post here. Next up, you have your outputs on the bottom, inputs on the top. Up top, you have channels 1, 2, 3, and 4, phono and line for all four. On the bottom you have Master 1 XLR output, a Master 2 RCA output, a Record output, and a Booth TRS balance output as well. Next up you have your link cable so that way you can link things with the other players that might be out there and that way you can transfer your BPM information, your quantize and all that good stuff. Next up you have your Master Digital output and your Digital four digital inputs, your Kensington lock all the way to the right. Above that you have your mic 1 which is a combination TRS and XLR and the mic 2 which is a TRS and then you have another ground post here as well. Okay so here we have it the Pioneer DJM 900 Nexus 2 over here to the right. Over here to the left we have the CDJ 2000 Nexus 2 which we reviewed last week. We'll flash that review up for you guys so you can go check it out. This is probably going to be the flagship premiere setup in DJ booths all across the world going forward. As soon as they make the upgrades and the switches this is what you're going to be expecting to find in those big name big big clubs. So here they are the 900 Nexus 2 and we're going to start running it down from top to bottom or from bottom to top I should say all the way down here with the crossfader. This is the Magvel Pro crossfader. It is a new edition of their original Magvel crossfader. It's not exactly what's found in the DJM S9, but it is really, really nice for scratching. Very, very smooth and very, very light. It's a magnetic fader, so it's not going to wear out anytime soon. And again, it is better than the original DJM 900 and the 900 Nexus, as it feels better and it's definitely better for scratching as well. Right above that, you have your crossfader assigned so that way you can assign this to the A side, the B side or to the middle which means the cross fader has no bearing whatsoever. Above that you have your line faders which are a little bit more stiff than the cross fader but they feel really really nice as well and you can still pull off some type of scratching with these depending on how you have your curves set and which brings us next to the curves that you guys see here. You can change the cross fader curve to three different settings just as with the other 900 back in the day and you also have your channel fader settings as well so you can change the slope and the curve of how these faders respond. Right above that you guys will see this new beat FX LED indicator. This is one of my pros for this new unit before it didn't have exactly a way to show you guys what effect was enacting on what channel but now you can see really easily at a glance when we turn the knob you can see the different channels and you can also affect your mics as well and you also can assign it to your crossfader A or crossfader B 
right above that you guys will see the cue indicator so that way you can cue up what you want in your headphones so what the audience does not hear and you can also cue your master as well you can also cue what you have in your link as well next up you have your sound color effect knobs for each of your channels this can be set using the sound color effects over here to the left the sound color effects are really really nice they have a nice parameter knob now with them so that way you can adjust the actual parameter of the effect and not just have it all the way on max how it used to be in the original 900 series now you're allowed to adjust the actual parameter while you're also adjusting the type of curve of the color effect as well we'll give you a really quick demo of that <laughs> So really cool sound color effects. As you can see, they have adjustments now. The sweep is a combination of the sweep and the gator. If you turn the color knob all the way to the left to the low side you'll get your gator and to the high you get your sweep so you still have the gator here as well next up you have your three band EQ and you have your LED metering so that way you can see exactly where you are in the mix and your volume levels these are full kill EQs if you set them that way you have isolator mode or you have EQ mode classic EQ mode we keep this on isolator mode and that way you'll have your actual full band EQ kill and then next up you have your trim knobs and you have another one of my favorites on this mixer the clip meter so this way you can see at a glance if some idiot in the DJ booth is up there clipping the sound when he's not supposed to quick sample of that next up you have your input line selectors for each of your inputs on the back and you can also select between your dual USB ports which are now found at the top of the DJM 900 Nexus 2 this is really easy placement for DJs coming in and out of the booth you have dual sound cards here it's a nice pull from the Reigns playbook because that way you can have two of your DJs easily changing over from one or the other and you also have the ability to select each of your channels between the A or the B the digital, the line, the phono, or the return auxiliary. So really robust mixers at the top. You have your selection so that way you can choose the different inputs that you guys want to use right there at the top for each of your channels. You also have MIDI on and off for A and B. So that way you can transmit MIDI from the mixer to your laptops. And by the way, these USB ports, one of my minor gripes or one of my major gripes is that this is not compatible with your Serato DVS or with your Tractor DVS setups. It's only required or compatible with your Rekordbox DJ DVS plug-in. Next up, you have your microphone levels, mic 1, mic 2. And you also have your high and low EQ for them. You can turn them off, on, or talk over, which means it lowers the volume so that way you guys can use your mic to talk. Next up, towards the bottom, you have your headphones Q area. You have mono split and your stereo so that way you can have your monitor in one ear and the Q in the other. Or you can just have it in stereo mode. You can also show your mix between your Q 
and your master in your headphones, volume control knob, and you have your two headphone jacks on the front, which are both the TRS model and the mini. Next up to the right, you have your master level control knob all the way at the top. You have your balance left and right, and you have your master metering here, and you also have a clip indicator to where you can tell if your master is clipping also. Next up, you have your cue, so that way you can cue what's in the master. You also have your booth monitor output volume knob here. And next up is the big effects section all the way to the right. Just like with the previous DJM mixers, there's always that familiar layout where you have your effects strip all the way to the right. All the way at the top, you have your new send and return, which you can use with a USB or with your apps on your smart devices you'll be able to use the different effects modules that they have in app form when you plug it right into here you'll be able to enact an effect on any of your channels depending on how you have it all set up we haven't tested this feature here but there are plenty of YouTube videos plenty of how to's online that show that working with this is very 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 cool very intuitive and nice touch control interface with your iPads and so on and so forth you can also use this with the jacks on the back and you can have a switch here so you can change it between USB control or the send and return jacks on the back you have your on off switch here and you also have your level control knob so you can control the level of the effects next up you have your OLED display which shows you exactly what's going on with your effects you can see what the BPM is you can also see what you have enacted on the X pad or you can just see what type of range you're currently set up in within your effect and you can also see what effect you're in as well and as you can see as we're slipping and sliding through the effects it's changing the different parameters on the screen so that way you'll be able to affect it the correct way you have your delay your echo ping pong spiral reverb trans filter flanger phaser pitch slip roll roll vinyl break and helix so really cool effects here nice plethora of effects and very easy to make sure you have your correct BPM when you're using this with your RJ45 and linking this with your players or you can also tap them in as well and it has a nice automatic BPM acknowledgement interface inside of it as well already so the auto BPM is very very accurate and it works very very nicely you also have these buttons so that way you can go between your different beats or your different beat properties of the beat effect that you have selected you can go between your auto tapping and your manual tap here's your tap button so that way you can tap in your own BPM if you want and you also have a quantize button here as well the new X pad is really really cool really easy to use and one of the things I really like about this X pad is that when you're enacting your effect and you're just pressing one of the buttons here you can monetarily enact an effect kind of like when you're using the Pioneer DJM S9 and when you're using the paddles when you just want to enact the effect for one quick brief second it will only work on that really quick clip that you pressed that button for so we can give you a quick example of that and you also have this really cool new FX frequency this allows you to enact your effect only on the frequencies that you have highlighted right now we have all the frequencies highlighted so every frequency is being ping pong but if we put it to only the highs only the things like hi-hats and that are high will get through <laughs> really cool 
effect properties here that that FX frequency effect is really really cool really fun to use and really nice to use when you're trying to really break down exactly what section you want that frequency to go under so next up we have the control which actually shows you where your beat effect is enacted really easy to see now with the new LED indicators you have your time knob so that way you can change the timing of your effect you have a level depth knob so that way you can change the level or the depth of the effect and then you have your on and off lock on and off effect button the new Pioneer DJM 900 Nexus 2 is an excellent follow-up flagship DJ mixer for the original DJM 900 Nexus and the 900 SRT because it has a lot of new features and a lot of new functionality inside and out that makes this a better DJ mixer for the DJ booths and maybe even in your own setup overall. First of all, it has the two USB sound card interfaces inside of it so you can do easy USB changeovers from DJ to DJ inside the club and you won't have any downtime whatsoever. It also has that new parameter effect knob for the sound color effects which makes everything a little bit more smoother and you have a lot more control over your sound color effects that you're controlling with each of your sound color knobs for each of the channels. You also have the new X pad and the new OLED display for your beat effects and you also have the frequency effects adjustments so that way you can affect only the different mid, low, or high frequency ranges that you want to with the beat effects. It also has better LED indicators all around for things like clipping levels. It shows you when everything is clipping and it also shows you exactly what beat effect is enacted on exactly which of your sources or which of your inputs that you're using. It also has improved sound quality overall, and it also has an improved crossfader for those DJs who like to get a little scratch happy with the crossfader, or it's just better just feeling overall even if you're just going to mix with the crossfader. It also has that new USB send and receive in and out feature so that way you can use your different effects apps. We didn't really test that feature here in this review, but nonetheless I've seen videos online and on YouTube where people are using that new effects app with much success and it's really different, really new, really innovative piece to have on a flagship DJ player and I'm sure in the future they're going to have even more DJ effects apps that you'll be able to use with that port. On the downside, the cost is really expensive. Again, this is upwards of above $2,000 at the time of this review, which is really expensive for a DJ mixer. Not so much for a club installation, but if you're trying to make this a part of your own personal setup, and sometimes DJs want to do that so they can be familiar with what they have in the club, then this is going to cost you, it's going to run you a few bucks. It's also not compatible with Serato or Tractor DVS, which is a real shame because the original 900 Nexus is compatible with Serato and Tractor and whatever else you guys need to use with it. This is only compatible with Record Box DVS, which works really, really well, but it's not universal because a lot of other DJs that are in the clubs are still going to want to use Tractor or Serato. So for more on the full out written review, you guys can head on over to www.djboot.net slash DJS, or you you can click on the link at the top of this video description make sure you hit the thumbs up if you like this video make sure you also subscribe to the channel so that way you can get videos like this in the future and as always thanks for watching right now right now right now right now murder future young OG right now kiss I'm still eating, I'm being greedy I'd rather that than being needy Cameraman trying to TMZ me Side piece trying to PND me Whoa, whoa, whoa Right now I'm too cautious Thirsty hoes get two vosses You with a loser, that's two losses Dripping off me, I'm too saucy Off-white on a off night Givenchy lay on a laundry day Soft whites going off right These diamonds shine like light bulbs My shoe closet like flight club Treat your ass like the FDs Might hit it when I leave the nightclub I don't trust him either, I don't blame Metro Woo! Fuck with OG, not a lame retro Told you from the get-go, let's go, get though, get low yeah. Couple niggas betting against us, that's no bet though you Niggas no good If Brooklyn don't trust you, like what's up, with son? They throw bullets where I'm from, make you cough up a lump If ain't no bad bitches in it, I pull up with some And right now I'm on some kush and a cup of some Shoes on the cover, hundred bodies One hundred shooters on the cover, hundred bodies 
Copping the whips on these niggas, don't fuck with them, fuck with them, fuck with these niggas. Ain't got no love for these niggas, no love, no love, no love for these niggas. I just blow the cash on my young ho. I just blow some cash on my young ho. Fucking up this cash.